Hey guys, it's me Noelle and welcome back to my channel. If you're wondering why I'm wearing pink and have my little heart earrings on, maybe you weren't wondering that at all. Today is a Valentine's Day video. Valentine's Day has always been so special to me. Ever since elementary school when everyone goes around passing out cards and candy, there's just something in the air. Like truly love is in the air. And I'm not just talking about romantic love, I'm also talking about friendship love, family love, neighborly love. And one of my all-time favorite things to do is to gift my loved ones handmade cards. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make three different styles of Valentine's Day cards. These are just a few ideas for you guys. Definitely put your own touch and twist to it. I'll be using Adobe Illustrator as well as my Wacom One tablet. The really cool thing about making your own cards is that you can design them and then send them digitally or you can even print them out at like your local FedEx or card printing shop online and then send them over. So they're very versatile. Before we get into this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe button and let me know in the comments down below what February 14th plans you have. Are you going to dinner with that special someone? I hope your Valentine's day is amazing and you feel all the love and without further ado let's get into it hey guys voiceover noel here i'm creating two artboards the left one being for the front of the card and the right one being for the inside message card number one is all about highlighting some of the favorite things you and your person love to do together so i'm starting out by sketching out a bunch of heart shapes on the front of the card using the pencil tool and then i'm changing the fill to colors that remind me of valentine's day so the classic pink red purple and then going back in with the pencil tool you can also use the paintbrush tool i'm just sketching out different activities objects food items that me and my sister enjoy so this one is dedicated to my sister we love eating sushi together playing board games so here i'm drawing monopoly and you can really have fun with the different things that you put in these hearts these illustrations kind of have that sketched out feel they're definitely not perfect and i kind of like that it gives it a more organic feel my sister and i are also huge fans of netflix and target I feel like we're at Target every week, honestly. <laughs> I also drew out the love of our lives um, to Keto. <laughs> He's made an appearance in some of my videos. So that's him. Once you sketch out all the different activities and items, you can move on to the inside of the card. And this part's optional. If you just want to design the front of the card, go for it. I just thought it'd be cute to add a little message. I'm going in with the paintbrush tool to write. One of my favorite pastimes is spending time with you. I did come up with this. I'm pretty proud of myself. Hallmark, I'm looking at you. Please hire me. That's it for card number one. Honestly, might be my favorite one of the whole video. Moving on to card number two. This one is going to feature a bunch of different words, positive adjectives that describe the person you're gifting it to, all contained in a giant speech bubble. So I'm starting out by using my pencil tool to sketch out the speech bubble and then using the direct selection tool I'm adjusting it to kind of fix up the edges a little bit and then this part's pretty straightforward you're just gonna use the text tool and then type out a bunch of different words that remind you of your person preferably positive words but <laughs> you can have fun with this you can definitely add your own touch of humor and inside jokes if you have cute little nicknames for them. I was thinking of a bunch of people when I was making this card, specifically three of my best friends. But I would really recommend to pack a punch for this card to make the words as specific as possible. And you can kind of orient the words in different ways to make it more visually appealing and interesting. Once you have all your words written out, you can play around with the typography. I just chose a few different fonts that I really liked, and then I selected three or four words and change the typeface. I would recommend, so it's not super overwhelming, to just stick to maybe five typefaces max. You still want your design to look visually cohesive, but also dynamic with the different fonts. To keep the theme of Valentine's Day, I'm also changing the colors of the words. Kind of like the first card, just choosing different shades of pink, red, purple. That's it for the cover, moving on to the inside. Using one of the fonts I used for the front, I'm typing out your all these things and so much more. <laughs> Guys, am I a poet? Like, how did I come up with these? <laughs> 
This one, you're just getting so many kind words thrown at you. I don't know how you wouldn't feel good after reading this card. And last but not least, card number three. I call this one, we go together like dot dot dot. So the idea for this one is to choose a pairing that is unique to you and your person, something extremely specific. I was thinking this was more geared towards food items. So like a weird food combination that you and your person invented or really enjoy. We've all seen the PB&J mac and cheese, you know, Valentine's i feel like those are pretty common the charm of this one is that this pairing is special to you guys the front of this one is pretty simple it's just a heart with the words we go together like on the inside the surprise comes in the inside of the card when you open it and it's a drawing of that unique pairing. For mine, I'm drawing out a chocolate ice cream cone and a hot cup of tea. Also, don't come for me, I ended up changing the font to Comic Sans. And that's it for card number three. And that's it. That's how you create your own DIY digital Valentine's Day cards. Let this video be a PSA. Please never let cards go out of style. I know these are digital cards, but I still think they carry the same sentiment. I think as a society, we need to keep that card culture going, even if the person throws it away after one or two days. Like, it's, it's the thought that counts, right? Let me know in the comments which one of these cards was your favorite. Wishing you a very lovely Valentine's Day this year. Whether you're spending it with your boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, husband, wife, best friend, or yourself. Just know how incredibly loved you are. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Also, Please don't forget to eat some chocolates this Valentine's Day. Um, I feel like that's a tradition you can't break. Like chocolate is life, chocolate is everything. And especially on Valentine's Day, like it hits different.